Hey guys, uh, I just want to show new update 1.5.0. Uh, this update actually adds like quite a bit. This update adds a lot of stuff. So, first of all, we got a ternary operator now. So, if we do one question mark, three, and then four, uh, five, it'll do uh, th it'll do three because the one it, it means true. And let me go. Uh, Real quick, let me go remove those uh those bites real quick, just so that you can see it better. Let me move these this over here, and there we go. So you don't you don't need to see all the friggin' all the bites, but so now so you can do that, and and if it's a zero, then it will do the the second one. There you go. There you go. Um, that, that's how that works. Um, I also added... Uh, I fixed some stuff, but then I also added a really huge thing. This is actually big. Look at this. We got en enumerations now. So if we do values... <coughs> and... Uh, uh, zero... Or, or let's just do like one... Two... Three... Four. Um, if we echo, echo values dot two, it's one because it counts up. So if we do uh, values dot four, we got three. And whenever um, it, the way it. Uh, Pushes a uh, an enumeration value onto the stack. Is it pu it pushes a 16 or uh, a 16 byte number or a, or an 8 byte number if it's 32 bit. And what makes up this this n number is two pointers: one to a list that has the names of the members of the uh, enumeration, and one to the values of the enumerations. So it it's you can push it onto the stack, and it's pretty nice. But anyway. Uh, we also have keyword. You can do, you can type keyword, and then name it. Let's just name it ah, and then you can do like one b or something. And now, whenever you type a a a a, it it, it will before the, the 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 code is parsed, it will turn that into a into a one. Um, so this this isn't a variable. You can't change it. It's like it's basically like hard coded into it once you did it, um, and and this and it it it's global to all scripts too. So if you initialize in the in the master script a key, you can put all kinds of keywords and they will carry around to all the scripts. Anyway, so now also another really really cool thing I added is shell. So now you can actually interact with the with your operating system shell so you can uh, you can run bash on Linux and on uh, on Windows you can run batch so you can you, you can even do sudo look you can do sudo echo one um, and then it'll ask for the password and it'll do it so you can actually interact with with uh, your, your operating system now um, one thing to keep uh, in mind though is that since uh, Megascript uses pseudo threading. Um, they're not actually real threads, and sometimes that shows because, like for example, if I were to run a um, a shell a shell command like yes s something, it'll it'll it won't it'll just basically stop all the scripts um, bec until that command is done running. So. Just keep in mind that if you're going to be using shell, you, you you should use commands that don't halt everything because that'll freeze your whole program. Anyway, what else do we have? Um, oh yeah, you can also directly write to memory now. So look, check this out. So um, I changed it. So now if you do like this, it uh it it gives the it gives the number of a pointer, but you can you can fix this by just dereferencing the, the the string with with the dollar sign. Um, it's kind of like, it's it's just like C except instead 
Actually, pointers are a little bit different. I'm going to add C-like pointers, but the pointers in MegScript by default are raw pointers, meaning that they're just a number that points to memory. But anyway, um, let's let's actually write some to some memory. So let's go and put into the one address or the zero address. Let's put in uh, hello. And now that address contains the code for hello. So if we do echo zero, it'll say hello. Um, you can also write numbers to to a, to a memory address. So let's just pick a random address like like uh like six nine. Oh yeah, and by the way, um, <coughs> uh, the data type will always be the same as long as you use the same pointer because it actually pushes the code onto the the the, the memory. It's well, it, it writes the code to the memory, and it and it whenever you call, uh, reference that memory, it just re executes that code and get and gives you the value that you put into it. So if I do six nine equals one, then and if I echo six nine, it will give one because the that that memory address has one in it. Now there's some weird shit you can do, like you can do some you can break it and do like seventy, and that'll get, give void. Um, um, if there isn't anything there, then it'll just give that. But anyway, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I think. Um, can now del fix the delete function. Oh yeah, I fixed some stuff. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the update so far. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and I hope you guys look forward to more updates. And see you guys.